Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, welcome. Nice. So let me turn on my camera. My goodness, we have a dog. Maria Del, me tiene ahí. La jauría. La jauría de dogs. Okay, uh, let's start. Let's see. We are. <gasps> Let's see, we are 50, well, 14 participants. Los demás. Bien, eh, let's activate your cameras. Vamos poniendo la camarita para verlo. María Delmi se le activa el, el audio. Eh, nice. So, welcome, thank you. Vamos a ver, ahí está ya, cámara de... Elba Esmeralda, Andrea Esmeralda, Jancy Carolina, Claudia Marlene, Marvin Alberto, bueno. M, Edgardo de Jesus, Alejandro Maria. Okay, so we are going to start. Okay, so Maria, tell me, nice to see you, Maria, tell me, how are you? Good Good evening, good evening, welcome. Very busy. But Very busy. <laughs> but yeah. right now we are, so right now we are in the class, right? Yeah. So probably you have a busy day, but now you are oh, like really nice. yeah. in your class, right? Yeah. Okay, so nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Ruth, how are you, Ana Ruth? No me escucha Ana Ruth, Rivas y Raeta. No. Eh, dice el chat aquí. Okay, so Claudia Marlene, tell us. Uh, how are you? Are you? Good evening, welcome, oh, Marlene. Nice, thank you, appreciate it. Nice. Uh, what about you, Noé de Jesús? Are you ready for the class? How was your day? Hi. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. So, are you ready for the class? So, how was your day, Noe? How was your day? Yeah, how uh, was your day? Fine. Did you do something special? No. Nope. Not really, nothing special, just living and living and living and doing and doing and doing. Okay, okay, no problem, Noe de Jesus. Um, Edgardo, tell us, Edgardo de Jesus. Uh, what day is today, Edgardo? Today is the last day. Okay, today is a Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Nice, today is a Tuesday. Andrea Esmeralda, what is a today date? Andrea, Andrea Esmeralda. Today date is 27th uh, of June of 2023. Okay, nice. So today is uh, Tuesday, June the 27th, right? The age at the end, uh, 2023. Okay, very nice. So 
um, just to keep in mind, right? Para que no diga que no sabía, que no le dijeron. So, you know that we are working in the platform in the section number three and the midterm exam. Esa es la sección de la plataforma que usted está trabajando, ¿verdad? Usted está haciendo la sección 3 y el midterm exam. El midterm exam le va a salir automáticamente después de haber completado eh, la sección 3, ¿ok? So, that is something important, ¿ok? So, let's see, we are 18, todavía faltan un montón, porque solo vemos 18. 21. Now we are 21. Uh -huh. So, habemos sí 21, ya ingresó uno más, pero como yo estoy conectada dos veces, si yo me quito, solo hay ahorita 19. Ok. So, let's see. Uh, hmm. Casi no los miro ya. So, did you do your homework? ¿Hicieron la tarea? ¿Había tarea? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, teacher. so, de unas sentences, right, que usted iba a transformar. Ok, so, what else? The main homework was about your phone, right? So, lo, la recomendación de cambiar el, el, el teléfono, ¿verdad? Espero que de verdad lo hagan, como le digo, por usted, pues, por usted mismo, porque necesita... Eh, practicar, aprender y, y con el teléfono yo le aseguro que va a aprender muchas palabras nuevas. Ok, so I will pass the attendance first, ok, so antes de irnos allá a las sentences, si sí quiero pasar a la asistencia para que estemos set aquí, just let me uh, review the file right here porque siempre se mueve de 9 a 10. Ok, so let's see. Alejandra Elizabeth. Yes, Miss Presta. Ok, Alejandra, Tuesday the 27. Ahí está. So, Alejandra María. Present. Nice, Alejandra María. Uh, then we have Alison Stephanie. Here. Okay, Alison Stephanie. Uh, Ana Lucia. Present teacher. Nice, Ana Lucia. Uh, Ana Ruth. Present. Nice. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Okay, Esmeralda, nice. Eh, Blanca Estela. Quiero ver, Blanca Estela. No. Eh, Claudia Marlene. Present me. Nice, Marlene. Eh, Deje ver. Claudia Marlene, ya le, ya le pregunté la asistencia. Quiero ver a quién le puse aquí. Blanca Estela. No respondió. Carlos Ernesto, sí. Eh, Edgardo de Jesús. No está Edgardo. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Elba Esmeralda, también ya la vi. Nice. Fabricio Romero. Fabricio. Eh, Jocelyn Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Nice. Eh, Kenia Roxana. No, Kenia, Kenia Roxana. Eh, Crisia Lorena. Crisia Lorena, no. 
Dios mío. María Delmi. También. Nice, María Delmi. Eh, Marvin Alberto. Yeah. Nice, Marvin Alberto. Then we have Marvin Alejandro. No. No están. Eh, Mayra Xiomara. Xiomara, ¿no? Hoy ha sido el día de las no venir. Eh, Noé de Jesús, ahí está. Impresa. Nice. Ricardo Antonio. Hear me. Nice, Ricardo. Eh, Sandra Lisset. Present, teacher. Nice. Eh, Cindy Carolina. Cindy Carolina, ¿no? Eh, Wendy Beatriz. Present. Eh, Jancy Mariela. Present. Nice. And Jancy, Jancy, I'm sorry, Jancy Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. So let's see, my goodness, we have too many absences today, but anyway, right? So at the end, we are going to validate porque creo que más de alguien ya pudo haber entrado. So let me share the screen really quick. Okay, so let me see right here. So we are going to continue where we stop, right? So we mentioned like this one, the six words jobs in the United States, right? So here in El Salvador is something else. So this work, where were orders, so you can do it, okay? So work and workplaces, okay? So remember we have different occupations, professions, right? So that we see it like in previous, uh, courses, right? Usted ya vio vocabulario relacionado a eso. So now it says right here uh, that we are going to match, okay? So we are going to match the A, B, but it says right here and C. Let's see if we can do it, okay? Because look at the example, okay? It says the letter A, it's a sales person, a chef, a flight attendant, a uh, carpenter, receptionist, and nurse, okay? So this is letter eight. So what will be letter eight? Look at the pictures and match the columns A, B, and Z. So what will be the place? So what will be the, the areas, right? It says where places lost. Lugares de trabajo. Let's see, let me ask you. So let's see, Ana Lucia, if you are a chef, so where do you think that you can work? Um, cook food? Is it ya okay. In a restaurant. In a restaurant can be in a restaurant. What else? If you are like, uh, for example, a fly attendant, so where you are going to work? Uh huh. So remember the workplaces son los lugares, right? Está el occupation or profession or lo que sea, y está el workplace, so que ya está como identificado. Si es, por ejemplo, un doctor, probably uh, that person works in a hospital or in a clinic, okay, but it's something regarding the medicine, right? So we are going to skip this part, okay? Um, tenemos tarea, pero quiero ver, so vamos, a, vamos a ver esto primero y después vemos la, la, la tarea. So it says the conversation, where do you work? 
Let's see, Marvin Alberto, where do you work? By Ria. Where do you work, Andrea? Mm -hmm. that, that is a question. I'm sorry, Marvin. That this is just a question for you, okay? Where do you work? I work at I work at Thomas Cook Travel. My goodness, that means that you are like a travel agent. Are you like a travel agent? Are you? I I don't know what. You are what? Oh, you, you said uh, if uh, where, where where I work. Uh huh. By real, by in real life. So. Uh, I work in a funeral home. In a funeral. Yeah. My goodness, that's yeah. kind of kind of um scare. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> But have I you ever heard something? That. Have you ever heard something in your job like weird or something uh, scare? To be honest, I don't. But I thank God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. someone else talked to me about different things. <laughs> yeah, that's what people says, right? Imagine that if you work in a where many um people, you know, it's like sad moment right because when someone dies so you need to you must right get a funeral right but yeah, yeah. there are many like how do you say taboos right taboos about the, those places yeah. okay let's see thank you let's see sandra lisette what about you where do you work i work at home you work from home Okay, so that means that you do like home office? Um, a mini super. Ah, okay, you have like a store, like a small store or mini store. Okay, so that means that you are very busy the whole day, right? Because if you have a like a little business at home, so you need to be like there right so there because of you need to be on charge okay nice let's see vamos a ver a quien no le hemos preguntado uh, Marvin Alejandro what about you where do you work excuse me miss I'm sorry uh -huh. I, I come in here <laughs> okay okay so where where do you work that is the question ah, oh okay I work in Santa Tecla. What exactly? So that what is what what do you do? Well, I work in office. I I did. I'm sorry. I do different things. For example, I help to my sister to administration in the area. Sometimes to help the customer when they have problem with the with the car, for example, because I work in how would they say tire. Okay, but that is like for cars. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, okay. So you are like like a mechanic or like an assistant? Oh, in the area, and you're right, in the assistant. Okay, so you are helping people there and you are like helping your sister. That's what you say, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. nice. Alejandro. And uh, Ruth, you have a baby right there. Nice, that's so cute, the baby. Anna Ruth. Nice. What about you, Maria? Tell me, where do you work? Mm. Uh, My goodness, you have too many uh, yeah. jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, uh, because I visit to my uh, passion so um, are you a doctor or a nurse uh, no, no, I'm, uh, I am a, do a medicine doctor but but I my work is, uh, is about alternative uh, therapies 
Ah, okay. So that means that you work by your own. That means that you were like um uh, I'll just, I'll your own I'll you have like your you have like your own business about that type of uh, medicine and you are like visiting different customers, different clients yes. or patients. Yes. It's okay. not the specific uh, places that um, because uh, I visit for uh, the mm, la mayor parte de persona yo la visito. In, okay, most of the, the customers or the most of the clients, so you go and visit them at home, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, but that's nice to know, okay? Very nice to know. Uh, let's see, Carlos Ernesto, what about you? What do you do? Where do you work? Hi, teacher. And I work in a, in a call center in Spanish. Oh, really? That's nice. Okay, so that means that you have experience about that industry, right? That's not easy. <laughs> That's not easy being yeah, uh, uh, that, that type of jobs, yeah. but but it's nice. It's stressful. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is I, have, I have a couple of years of experience about <laughs> that and I know what it means, okay? But it's nice, it is nice. If you if you really uh, care about your job, so you, you are great, you are good and you get money, right? So that's the good thing. So probably, uh -huh, probably in the future, Carlos, you can be in an English. I can, right? I have, I have that teacher. First okay, guy. okay, yeah, you can do it in the future, no problem. Uh, let's see, the next person, it's um, Alejandra Maria. Alejandra Maria, what about you? Where do you work? I work in an office, uh, like assistant, legal assistance. Okay, so that's like a lawyer's office or something like that? Sí. Yes. Okay, and you are like the assistant, so taking care of all the clients yeah. and everything. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So where do you work? That is the name of the conversation, right? Where do you work? And the conversation is between uh, Jason and Andrea. And it says, uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time part -time yeah. job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Uh, hamburger Heaven. Hamburger hmm. Heaven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nice, okay. nice name. So that is the conversation, right? So about places, right? Remember we have the occupation or the profession and we need to know where that person can, you know, uh, complete or do their job, right? So nice. Uh, we are going to have just one or two couples to uh, read this because of the time, okay? So mm -hmm. let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado mucho. Que a los que ya les pregunté y los demás no ponen cámara. Okay, Elba Esmeralda, please be Andrea. En Noé de Jesús, please be Jason. Go ahead. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? Elba Esmeralda. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do, dear? I am a guy. I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Wow, interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. 
what do you do? I am a student. Uh, I have a part-time job too. Oh, why do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, nice. So let's see. I'm a guide. Okay, so un guía, right? I'm a guide. So I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Okay, interesting? No, okay. Interesting, how interesting, okay? It, it's a great job, I love it, okay? So I'm a student, I have a part-time. So you know what is a part-time job, right? right? If I say I have a part-time, so what's the meaning of that? Medio tiempo. Ok, tengo un trabajo de medio turno, medio tiempo, es decir que trabaja unas cuatro horas lo más, right? So that is the, the part-time. Eh, let's see how interesting, that's a great job, I love it. Uh, in a fast food restaurant, hamburger heaven. Ok, so then the rest, no estamos tan mal en la pronunciación. Por cuestión de tiempo, let's move on, ok, because... We need to start at least uh, section number three this week, okay? Para ponernos al día con lo de la... Ir como a la par de la plataforma. Esta semana es la que tenemos que eh, ponernos al, al, al corriente, right? Con, como va usted en la plataforma. Simple present WH questions and statements. Esto, la práctica que tenemos de la tarea, usted practicó. Pero eran de, del verbo to be, right? So quedamos que hoy vamos a empezar a ver el presente simple. Um, but let's see. Uh, simple present WH questions and statements. Okay, so this is the famous present simple. Which one is the auxiliary? Do, okay? Yo digo um, do or um, doesn't, right? Doesn't, that would be the, the auxiliary right here in the simple present. We need to know which one is the auxiliary for the subject. Con el pasado simple no, hay, no existe ese problema porque el auxiliar es el did y el did es para todos, right, en el pasado. Eh, pero en este caso, no, right, en el simple present we have do and does, do and does. Okay, and the same story, this ones can be positive sentence, but also can be negative. So let's read, okay? Let me see who. Um, Claudia Marlene, help us, please. Read the question and the uh, and the answer, the first two, please. Okay, uh, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Mm -hmm. Continue with the next one, please. Um, where do you work? I work at or in a restaurant. Where okay. Do you... mm -hmm. Sorry? Continue. Continue. Sorry. Oh, where do you go to a school? I go to the University of Texas. Okay. So nice. You have the first three, right? So what do you do? Mire, estas son WH questions que usted ya sabe, right? ¿Cuáles son las WH questions y por qué se llaman así? Mezclado o integrado con el presente simple, ¿ok? So what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? ¿Ok? So la pregunta va a ser siempre con el, siempre el presente simple, right? I am a student. I have. La, 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 I work at, I go to, and, and the answers, right? So let's see the other group, okay? Because these ones are what, where, and uh, where, but this is with the auxiliary do. Now let's see the other three examples with the auxiliary does. Eh, Ana Lucia Nieto, help us please with the reading, the next three.
repetition, please. Okay, Ana Lucia, just help us with the reading. Okay, just read the three questions with the three answers. Okay, me está diciendo que yo repita las preguntas. Porque yeah, no entiendo read, que me read, read, read. Leer, leer. Leer, ah, okay. What do you do? Where right do you here. go? Right here, I'm sorry, this one's with the dos. Where does Andrea work? What does she do? How does she like it? Okay, and the answers it says, where does Andrea work? Oh, she works at Thomas Cook Travel. What did she do? Okay, she's a guide. She takes people tours. And how does she like it? Okay, she love it, okay? She love it. So, simple present, okay? Aquí tenemos, mire. Are you, he, she, okay? We have the birds. ¿Quién me dice la regla esencial del presente simple que yo debo de conocer? ¿Quién recuerda? Esto es un repaso. You have to add, you have to add. Yes. Uh, ok, uh, Carlos Ernesto en Den Marvin, Alberto en Den Marvin, Alejandro. Ok, go ahead, Carlos Ernesto. And the verbs on third person, you add the S, and if the verb ending in S, um, I don't remember, teacher. If you add ES. ES. Okay, okay, nice. Carlos Ernesto, you mentioned something very important, okay? Um, what we need to know and what we need to be clear is that if we are talking in simple present, that this is for routines, everyday activities, right? Something that is always true. So in those situations, we are going to use the simple present, right? But we know that there are the auxiliaries, yeah, do and does. And we know that, I, that we have different subjects, okay? But the important thing that you need to know is that we need to add something into the verb when we have a third person, okay? De la tercera persona, el verbo cambia. Eso en el presente simple, usted no lo tiene que olvidar. A veces se nos escapa. Y yo digo, she work. Okay, y no, ahí sería, she works. Yes. Okay, mire, aquí hay unos ejemplos. Work, work, take, take, study. This verb, look. Uh, N in a Y, so I have to change the Y into an I, and then I add the ES. So then there are some verbs in which you need to add the ES. La gran mayoría, usted solo le agrega S, ¿verdad? Eh, pero no todos, okay? So there are some sections in which we need to add the ES. And also we have some verbs in simple present that they change, okay? Do and does, go, goes, have, has, okay? So acá, definitivamente yo tengo que tener la, las, las reglas gramaticales del presente simple para las terceras personas. Ahorita por regla general, yo sé que tengo que agregar S o ES, right? Cuando estoy hablando de una tercera persona, pero eso igual. Eh, eh, es cuestión de, de, de práctica. Ok. It says complete the conversation, then practice with a partner. Ok. So this is a conversation for uh, simple present. Ok. Simple present. Usted tiene que ver ahí cuál es el, el verbo o la auxiliar. Puede ser que sea un auxiliar que hace falta en esta conversación. Eh, le voy a tomar una captura y lo voy a enviar. Vamos a crear rápidamente los pequeños grupos y vamos a contestar esa parte, ese ejercicio. Déjenme crear aquí. ¿Qué pasó? Bien, vamos a crear. No quiero que quede tan grande el grupo, pero bueno. Just for 
Okay, so I'm going to send the exercise in the WhatsApp group in case if you don't have the manual. So we have four minutes. Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Lo voy a enviar ya. En el grupo, cuando lleguemos al grupo. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me just open the rooms right here.
sobrevivir y la muerte para poder salvar la mayor cantidad de pasajeros posible. Muchos de ellos están... Okay. Um, yeah. Welcome back to the to the main room. Okay. So let's see. I don't know if you finish. Okay. Demole. So number one. Let's see. Uh, Fabrizio. No sé si tiene audio. Fabrizio. Yeah. Right. So B letter eight. Fabrizio. And uh, Jensi Carolina. B letter B. Okay, so uh, go ahead, Fabrizio. Fabrizio eh, Romeo no tiene audio, no sé, no lo veo ahí como conectado, pero no sé. Bien, I'm assuming que no. Okay, so Marvin Alberto, help us. No, no, no tiene audio, creo él. So Marvin Alberto, so B letter eight. Um Jancy, right? Letter B. Hola, hola. Where do you go? Where do you go to school? I am for a student. I study the violin. Uh, and where do you go to school? Okay, so let's see, let's see, ¿qué pasó acá? Number one, so uh, Marvin, start from the letter A right here, the very beginning, even though it's already done, para que no nos confundamos. Ooh. Okay, please, and Jensen, you are letter B, okay? So go ahead. Uh, so what do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? Simple present, um, Jensi. Look at the subject. Vea quién es el sujeto, okay? So, si el verbo cambia o se mantiene. Jensi, Jensi, no sé si puede continuar ahí. No, no, teacher, no understand. Ok, ok, no problem. Veamos, ayúdele, please, Esmeralda, Elba Esmeralda. Help us. I go to the New York School of Music. Marvin? Maybe. Uh, well, how much do you like your classes? No. So remember, this one's our WH, right? Puede ser what, where, how. ¿Cuál considera Marvin que sería la más apropiada? Where? Where do you like your class? Mm, no, no, porque no, vea la respuesta. No, no. Yes. Like, how do you like your classes? Wow. Why do you like your class? Mm, no, that would be no, how. Why? Okay, how do you how? like your classes? How? ¿Qué, how do you? ¿Qué how tanto do you? te gusta tu clase? Ajá, Esmeralda. I like them a lot. Okay, I like them a lot. Okay, so nice. Uh, let's continue. Okay, number two. Uh, let's see. Uh, Claudia Marlene, B letter eight. And Marvin Alejandro, B letter B. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, what does Tania do? She's a teacher. She. She does an art class at the school in Denver. And what about Brian? Where? Where? Hi. What's the? Does. Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. Uh, what does he do exactly? 
he is a weak side designer. He he does fantastic with sided websites. Okay, websites. Okay, nice. So what does Tanya do? Right, she is a teacher. She um studies at our class at a school in Denver. Um, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works in a big company in San Francisco. Uh, what does he do exactly? Oh, he's a website designer. He, um, ¿qué? Podría ser he, he, has, he, he, does. he, he does, he, he does, does, right? He, he does, does fantastic does. websites, okay? So look, because of the time, fíjense que quisiera yo que hiciéramos más prácticas, pero el tiempo no da. Le voy a compartir, deje ver dónde está el grupo acá. Le voy a compartir unos dos ejercicios ahí en la parte de su casa a la medianoche cuando salimos de aquí, ¿verdad? Este le quede un espacio, intente completar estos ejercicios del presente simple. Aquí está resumido en estos dos ejercicios el uso de auxiliares, positivos, negativos, el uso de la regla de la tercera persona y el uso de eh, verbos. O sea, usted el verbo que le aparezca, usted lo tiene que saber transformar en el presente simple para una tercera persona, ok? So, ahí le mandé dos paginitas. Eh, no sé quién se salió de Zoom. Este, trate de hacerlo. No porque yo lo voy a pedir o lo puedo revisar, sino porque usted necesita hacer la práctica. Valórese. Eh, hágase usted la autoevaluación y diga, bueno, quiero ver el ejercicio 1. ¿Será que lo puedo hacer? Si no lo puedo hacer, quiere decir que tengo que repasar un poquito porque... Esto es como la esencia del, del simple present, right? So, y tenemos que continuar porque este es un repaso, ¿verdad? So, uh, let's see. Mm, podemos ver las respuestas mañana si gustan, pero como le digo, háganlo ustedes, está fácil, no necesita estar es escribiendo todo nuevamente, solo haga las respuestas o, o ponga ahí lo más práctico, la respuesta. Nice. Uh, let's see. Maria, tell me. Maria, tell me. Um, let's see. Tell us the sentence, ok? La que quedó de tarea ayer. Vi que algunos lo habían enviado acá al grupo, ¿verdad? Pero bueno. Eh, the first question, the first sentence. Uh, Maria, tell me. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. You are going to read the sentence the way it is. And the other person will have to create the do the change, right? So, ya dijimos que si es positiva, la hago negativa. Si es negativa, la hago pregunta. Si es pregunta, la hago positiva, okay? So, go ahead, uh, Maria Dell. Me choose one of your classmates and read the first uh, sentence, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because Mayra. Mm -hmm. Mayra. Mm -hmm. Well, which one is the first one? Maya. Pedro is not my classmate. Eh, excuse me, I, yo ayer no estuve en la clase realmente. No sé cuál fue la, la tarea. Okay, okay. Maya, the homework was like... Uh, transfer some sentences or questions, ok, la idea es practicar el verbo to be, o sea, esto es bien básico esto es el módulo 1 donde usted aprende el verbo to be entonces esto es como un repaso algo chiquitito, una práctica donde usted tiene que va a valorar, verificar que tiene el dominio del presente, I'm sorry del verb to be, ok so la dinámica es que yo di unas oraciones Y las iban a transformar, ¿ok? En las opciones distintas. So, la oración, eh, Mayra, que le está dando eh, María Delmi, says, Pedro, it's not, right? Pedro, it's not my classmate. 
So now, Mayra Xiomara, this is a negative sentence, ok? Dígame usted esta misma oración, pero en pregunta. Ajá, Mayra Xiomara, the same question. The same sentence, ok? La misma, pero usted necesita la pregunta. Si yo digo, Pedro, it's not my classmate. Ajá, Mayra. La, la oración es? The sentence, the original one Pedro, is Pedro, it's not Pedro, my classmate. So now we need the question, ok? La misma, pero question. Ajá, no, Mayra. No. Teacher. Okay, Esmeralda, help us, please. Go ahead. This is the, you need the question, right? Is Pedro my classmate? Perfect. It's Pedro my classmate. Okay. That will be a um, question. Now, let's see, Marlene, the positive sentence, okay? We have the negative with the question. Now we need the positive, positive sentence. Pedro is my classmate? Perfect, okay. Ana Lucia. Read the second sentence, the original one, la que yo di, the second one. Ana Lucía Nieto. La segunda, is Juan my boss? The so, question. That is the question. Let's see, Crisia Lorena, no sé si nos está escuchando, Crisia Lorena. That is, is the question, is Juan, is Juan my boss? Is Juan my so boss? This is, this is the question, so tell us the uh mm, let's see que le yeah. corresponde la, la, la negative right juan is not my boss perfect juan is and or is not my boss let's see mm -hmm. um fabricio the positive yes juan my boss Juan is my boss, okay? Nice. Uh, Noé de Jesús, read the third uh, sentence de las que yo di, la tercera. Uh, yeah, ahorita. Okay. Uh, uh, Chepita is my best friend. Okay, Chepita is my best friend. So that is a positive, okay? So Alice and Stephanie, the negative. Chepita isn't my friend. Okay, Chepita is not or isn't my best friend. Okay, now we need the question. Let's see, quién? No, todos les he preguntado ya y como en dos veces, pero son los que tienen cámara y de ahí los demás. Nadie, nadie veo que no le. Ah, Edgardo, ¿who? ¿Quién levantó la mano y dijo mí? Yo, teacher. Ah, uh, Jancy. Ok, so, Chepita, it's my best friend. Ah, uh, Chepita, it's not my best friend. Now the question. Is Chepita my best friend? Perfect. Is Chepita my best friend? Yes, it is or no, it's not. Or, yes, she is or no, she's not. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Sandra Lisset. Uh, read the number two, the original, the number three. That will be number three, okay? La original que yo di. Three or four? Number four, mm. number four. Chepita was number three, right? So, number four. Juanita mm. and Chepe are students. Okay, Juanita and Chepe are students. So this is the positive. Uh, Fabricio, negative. Juanita and Chepe are not a student. Okay, perfect. Juanita and Chepe aren't students or are not students. And the question, Carlos Ernesto. Eh, sería 
Are Juanita and Chepe students? Perfect. Are Juanita and Chepe students? So that is the question, right? So la última, let's see. Edgardo, Edgardo de Jesus, read the last. Um, that was a question. Are they six? Okay, are they sick? Are they sick? So let's see. Um, Ana Lucia. Okay, affirmative. Uh, no, we need the negative. Um, they are not sick. Perfect. They are not or they aren't sick. Okay, are they sick? So that's the question. Uh, la positiva, ¿cómo quedaría? They are, they, they, are, they are sick. They are sick. Ok. So, mire, con esto prácticamente estamos terminando el verbo to be. O sea, esto es como un repaso y tenemos que ver el medio ahí, el repaso del, del presente simple. Yo lo que recomiendo que estudie las reglas gramaticales de la, la terminación de los de las terceras personas porque no todos es que ese es ese es ese es ese verdad hay diferentes opciones right so uh, simple present lo estamos cubriendo ahora ok con las pá dos paginitas que le mando ahí dos imágenes tiene para formular preguntas tiene para completar tiene para practicar verbos ok so hágalo yo no le digo que va a ser no y que si no lo hace va a quedar reprobado no pero es bonito que realice la práctica porque lo que usted necesita es practicar, practicar, practicar y practicar. Ok, so let me move on right here to the attendance porque hay dos, varias personas, no dos, varias que no contestaron. Uh, Blanca Estela. No, Fabricio Romero. Present, I am sorry. Ahí está, nice. Mm. Veamos Kenia Roxana. Kenia Roxana no está. Y Crisia Lorena. Here. Ok, Crisia Lorena sí está. Kenia eh, Roxana dijimos no. Marvin Alejandro. Present. ¿No Nice. Mayra Xiomar. Nice. Nice. Y valido aquí nada más con Cindy Carolina. Cindy Carolina no está. Ok, Cindy. Se queda sin asistencia Kenia Roxana. Blanca Estela. Bien. So, a mi modo, ¿se acuerdan que en este grupo fue que el, el primer día vino, vino un montón de gente y demás? <risa> ¿Verdad? No sé si fue en este grupo, pero hubo un grupo que vino gente que no estaba en la lista y querían estar. Imagínense, hay personas que, que ya no se conectaron. Entonces, ahí prácticamente robaron el espacio a alguien y, y no, no han continuado siendo constantes en el attendance, ¿ok? So, me move. So, my God, time is over. So, trate de completar su trabajo primordial. Recuerde, es la plataforma. O sea, yo lo que le mando extra es para que usted practique cuando tenga tiempo, aunque sea en el bus, medio vaya ahí revisando. Pero eh, el trabajo primordial suyo ya sabe usted que es la plataforma. Ok. So, eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Creo que solamente. Eh, ya pasé. Asistencia. Bueno. So time is over. Tomorrow we have class. Ok. So mañana sí, estamos el, el día jueves. No, hasta el lunes. Les voy a dar el porcentaje. Eh, al finalizar el jueves. Prácticamente estamos este... Llegando al 50%, quiere decir que si usted no ha faltado ningún día y se ha conectado a la hora completa, va a llegar al 50% y ha ganado. Y el que ha faltado o se ha conectado tarde, probablemente le va a aparecer allí un poco menor el, 
el porcentage, right? So time is over. Appreciate your time, appreciate your cameras. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? The same time, the same link, okay? So bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Take Good care. Night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you soon. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.